friends. Hello, replay viewers. I am Amanda with Raising Da Vinci. Hello, Anna. Um, so I'm gonna hop right in um, to our theme this week. Hello, hello. Um, so this week we talked about policemen and um like community helpers um so it was we did p for police but we talked more about like overall community helpers so firemen um thank you for inviting followers christina um now i'm off track christina <laughs> um so yeah we talked about you know the the um ambulance and all, all kinds of stuff like that. So um, that was our theme and I'll take you over and show you our board and um, we didn't have a felt, hey Amy, we didn't have a felt board this week and I'll show you why. Um, and then I'll show you the sensory bin and um, then I'll come back and show you the books this week. All right, so let's, I'll actually just walk you there. This okay, so you'll see no picture this week. Um, that's actually because we had our address in there and I erased it before the periscope. So that is our board this week, and you'll see we don't have a felt board this week because I was gonna do something similar to you know, like this, but then we have Melissa and Doug Joey. I don't know if you know. Um, the Melissa and Doug Joey, it's like this thing, it's like a magnetic little guy that has like different outfits. So we just put the outfits on our board, um, and this is a sticker, like a vinyl Melissa and Doug sticker for, um, <laughs> so we didn't do a felt board this, this week because we had all these magnets and, you know, so... That's what we did this week, and then our sensory bin. <laughs> this sensory bin has changed throughout the week. <laughs> we did a Cheerio sensory bin, which was really easy, but earlier in the week we had letters, um, and then we had these puzzles in here. And of course, if you're going to do a Cheerio sensory bin, um, you need the Cheerios books, right? That's just... So this is like the easiest sensory bin ever. Um, we had a lot of other, hello. We had a lot of other, um, put you guys up here. There we go. We had a lot of other activities and stuff going on. So I didn't want to like, you know, I can only do so much. So easy sensory bin this week, but lots of other fun stuff. So we'll go over the books. Obviously, because we did Cheerio Sensory Bin, we have these two books that are just awesome. Um, and they, if you're not familiar, they have like, um, like holes where you can like fill the Cheerios up. And there's like different, um, like, you know, you gotta make glasses for the mice and there's all kinds of different things, different little games. This one's all animals, um, so so those are really fun. And then we talked a lot about safety this week. So we read these books. Um, we got these from the library, and I will say this: we skipped over some of them, um, some of it, because I mean it's pre-K, so. We talked about some of the safety tips um, that I felt were pre-K appropriate. Um, you know, don't talk to strangers, that kind of that kind of stuff. Um, being it safe at home, and this one was good, but again, we kind of skipped over some of it. Like this, I think we skipped over. Um, while it's a good lesson for my son, I feel like it's just. Like, my son is the type that he, and I was telling Melissa this earlier, um, he just needs to figure things out, and if you tell him, like, you know, don't put cords in water, he'll be like, oh, well, why? Let's, let's test it out, and, you know, so I did skip some, some of the things, but some of them were good lessons. 
And then we just talk about um, personal safety kind of stuff. So, um, and this is, if you're not familiar with this book, um, I don't, this book holds a special place in my heart because I think it's one of the very first books my son read um, completely by himself. So, you know, naturally we read this one. <laughs> um, and that, he read this, I think, last year sometime. So, but um, it's a really cute book for boys, anyway. So some of the, th the things that we did this week were, again, we talked about um, safety. We talked about 911. I gave him, like, uh, old cell phones and, like, pretend phones so that he could practice um, dialing 911. But then that brought up a really great question with me and my husband that, like, we don't have a landline. Um, so he needs to know how to, like, call 911 on, like, our, our cell phones, you know, um, which is different. Like, it's different than we were, like, you know, um... I think that like the touch screens and things are intuitive for kids, but do kids really know how to make calls and dial phone numbers without like, you know, like that's, um, without like my son, he can call dad, but he looks for dad's picture or, you know, so it's something to at least talk about as a family, I feel like. So we talked about when you should call 911. We, um, kind of role played a little bit like, oh, what if, you know, mom or dad slips? Um, and we did some role playing and I asked him questions that like a 911 operator would ask like what's your address? How old are you? Um, to see how he responded to those questions. Um, he learned his address this week So that was really good. Um, he kind of knew it before but he like he wouldn't Like get it exactly right. So we really worked on that and what else did we do? Oh, we did some fire safety, so we came up with a, like a fire escape plan as a family, and we found a safe spot where the family will meet, and then we kind of role played that, like, oh, what if there's a fire in this room? Which way do we go? Because we want to avoid the fire. Um, so we kind of had fun, like running around the house, like, and you know, it's pretend play, so we had a lot of fun with it as a family. So we did that. Um, so there's a lot of that gross motors um, learning happening this week. The song that we did, it, w it was a lot of fun, Amy. We did, we had a lot of fun with it. Um, we try, like it's, it's, I feel like it's a really important, good topic to discuss, but it's also like a little, like almost, you don't want to like scare them, right? Like you don't, you don't want to like give them nightmares or, you know, so I tried to find fun <laughs> fun ways to do it without like, you know, all of these terrible things could happen. Um, but still, it's good to be, be prepared. So the song we sang, I will, um, I'll type it up for you guys. It's like in the tune of Skip to My Lou. And it's, um, you know, you guys know that I am not a singer, but it's like, uh, firefighters help in many ways putting up fires every day to keep us safe, you know, like things like that. Um, policemen help in many ways, patrolling streets every day. Uh, um, so I'll include that. That way you guys can read through it and I don't have to sing it. <laughs> and our vocab word was detective and I kind of explained that as um, a uh, policeman who looks for clues and then we looked for clues all around the house for what I don't really know because you know and we talked about like because he had a lot of questions about why do um, policemen arrest people and um, because he's read this book like this book they do arrest it's not necessarily my favorite book um, as far as content but you know they do like arrest the crooks um, so one thing I'll say about the Lego City. My son really likes the Lego City books. I struggle with them. Um, there's a lot of them I just flat out won't let him read. Um, this one's not too bad, but still, you know, like, like the crooks. So there's that. Um, and basically, I explained it to him by saying, like, um, you know, you have to follow rules, just like our family has rules, like we have to go to bed at a certain time, well, he does. Um, you know, like, we, there's no hitting in our, like, we don't hit as a family, like, that's a rule in our house. 
So, you know, if you don't follow rules, there's consequences. And so, like, that's how I explained that to him, is that, you know, you have to follow rules, like the um, red light, you know, the lights, the traffic lights. That's another thing we did this week. We talked about the traffic lights because we were talking about the rules. And we played this game where we took all of the toys upstairs in our playroom, um, any red, yellow, or green toy, and put it into a basket. And then I would, you know, randomly draw a toy out, and that would, you know, so if it was red, he'd have to stop running. If it was green, he could start running around. If it was yellow, he had to walk really slow. So that's something that we, I mean, I don't know how much of the theme it went with, but we were just talking about those kinds of things this week. So, um, TV shows, if you've ever seen, do you, Red Light? You play Red Light. Um, I think that's what it's called, right? Like Red Light, Green Light? I don't know. I feel like that's what it was called when I was a kid. Um, what was I going to say? Great for self-control. That's true. Yep. That is true. I didn't think of that. <laughs> um, yeah, it is great. For, it is also, like, if you um, do it like the way we did it, like where we found the toys for the colors, like my son knows his colors, but little brother doesn't. So it's a great way to teach colors too, um, to like go find this color, you know, like let's go find all the yellows. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a really great game for lots of different reasons. Um, TV shows we watched, I can't remember the name of it. I'm really trying to remember. It's like, it's with Radar, the police car. It's a I'll look it up. I'll look it up and um, email it to you guys. It's with Radar the Police Car. It's like a Swedish movie. It's really cute. Um, it's like, it's like appropriate. I feel like with this, with police and like firemen, like it can, I don't know, it borders line, it borderlines inappropriate a lot of the time. So, um, but this is, I think, appropriate for preschool age. So, that is our preschool curriculum this week. Um, and not a lot of planning this week, but it was still a lot of fun. So, 